Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're somewhere a little bit different and that is because you are watching Solo Trip number two. So if you haven't watched my first solo travel vlog, make sure you check it out up here. Um, but currently I am in the beautiful St. Thomas. I traveled here yesterday. Thankfully, God is good. The flight went smoothly. Um, I did have some delayed flights, but it was okay. It wasn't a problem. I was just tired. I played myself and didn't sleep the night before I traveled, so that was my bad. But yesterday was when I arrived here and I just spent the day relaxing. I grabbed food. I at a nearby shop which was low-key stressful because walking there was interesting to say the least <laughs> but I got food came back here just rested watched some attack on Titan and now we are here so it is day two I did my Devo this morning I'm staying in an Airbnb it is really cute y'all I love it it's just a studio in French town and it's been really nice so far so today the goal is to one get water and food in this studio <laughs> so that way i have sustenance when i come back here at the end of my day um two is to learn how to use the safari or bus system here um just to get around so i'm gonna go to charlotte amali and then go do the sky they have like a sky thing you'll see it um and then also go to megan's bay which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful beaches in the world so i am excited a little bit nervous to say the least my last solo trip again watch up here was in a super touristy area the whole time in honolulu hawaii and so it was kind of a different vibe i feel like it was a lot more obvious how to get around obvious the things to do where this i kind of have a little more freedom but also at the same time with that have to be more aware of where i'm at what i'm doing all of those things so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a good time and i'm excited to take y'all along with me so let's go i will mostly be recording with my phone on this trip especially when i'm not in touristy areas but since i'm inside here is the fit for day one um, just this thrifted men's button down, biker shorts, shirt, and these new balances, which are really dirty, but they always work. So let's go. Okay, you guys. So I actually ended up walking to Charlotte Amali. I ran into a few of the nicest people. They were super helpful because the um, safari was taking way too long and it's just a quick walk so we walked here um, they showed me pointed me to where you know it is and they left but now we're just gonna explore goal one find some food because I need to eat I made it to the top of the sky ride at St. Thomas um, and it is so gorgeous here you guys. I am literally in awe. Um, I'm like this is why. <laughs> this is why we do these trips because like what? What? God made that y'all. God made that. Like honestly sometimes seeing these things is a very like spiritual thing because it's easy like to get into the day-to-day -day of all these like man-made things but like when you're looking out at just nature and it's so gorgeous and more beautiful than anything man could have made like it's just such a reminder of like right this is god this is the god that we serve so yeah it's so gorgeous out here you guys um next is megan's bay which i'm also so excited for hopefully it's not too busy with other tourists we'll see but yeah hope y'all enjoy the views along with me Bye. Bye. 
so I brought this book. Um, it's by this woman that my um, dad actually met and introduced us all to, but she's amazing. She actually like sees in the spirit. And so this book, it's not Bible, you know, but it's just really cool hearing about people's experiences um, and the lessons that they've learned through their intimate relationships with God, which is something, a journey that I know I need to be more dedicated to. So I'm gonna read through that, um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll take videos for y'all too. If there is one thing about me, I am not getting my stuff stolen. Y'all see all these locks? If you're planning on traveling, make sure you got them. Now back to the vlog. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. Don't really have time to set up the whole camera setup, but wanted to do the little day recap. So today I'm going to be going to Coral Beach World, which is an aquarium, and then they also have little excursions there. So I'm gonna be doing their sea trek and then spending the rest of the day at Koki Beach, which is right next to the aquarium. So it should be a really slow day, pretty chill, but it's gonna be really exciting too. So let's go. So I'm waiting for my turn to do the sea trek because the group before me started a little late. But just looking out here, y'all, I'm so excited. Like I, I could literally cry. I'm not even over exaggerating. Like cause this is just so beautiful, and I am so excited. So it is Wednesday. As you saw, yesterday was an amazing day. Actually, one of my friend's families lives here and his mom was absolutely the sweetest and helped me get around yesterday, which was such a blessing, y'all. Made the day so like stress-free, it was great. The aquarium, like overall, not the most exciting thing. It's super small, but like for me, not having seen a lot of that stuff before, it was really cool. 
And the cool thing about Coral World Ocean Park is that the animals that they have are rescues as they're caring for them, also using them, you know, for the aquariums. Then after the Ocean World, I went to Koki Beach, which is literally just like a two minute walk. They have like a cross bridge right to the beach. The beach was gorgeous. Um, the people there were great, beautiful views. Like I did not want to leave. I was like, it's just hard to like keep those images in your mind, you know, after you leave such a cool place, but it was gorgeous. So thankful to be there. Once I was done, I went back with um, the mom of my friend I was telling you about and she picked me up and it was great also like talking with them on the ride home. It was hilarious, it was fun. Then I went to the Frenchtown bar for dinner and y'all, if you come to St. Thomas and are staying in Frenchtown, you have to go. It was so good, the food was great. Um, all the food here honestly is like $20 a meal so kind of expected that but the drinks were super cheap and it was really good y'all it was really good but i had a really good dinner there and then came back here watched the finale of the bachelor which that was tough y'all i watched the finale of the bachelor watched a little bit of attack on titan and then went to sleep but today this morning for breakfast, I just went to the Frenchtown Deli, which was cool. It was a nice walk. It was so pretty. And then it's like the boat front where the marina, I think, is. And they have like some boats there too, which I got to see, um, which was great. Just a really chill walk. A lot of chickens or roosters. Not sure. Um, so I actually asked my Airbnb host because she's super friendly. She also travels um, and she lives here now in St. Thomas. But I was like, hey, like, do you have any favorite places around the island? It would be great like to go explore something with you like if you have a favorite spot and she was like yeah sure like i'm totally down so today um in the afternoon she is off of work so we're gonna do a light hike to a remote beach and then go get food after so i am super excited it's gonna be great um i'll definitely link the airbnb also if you're coming here it's a great spot to stay amazing and she's great i'm gonna run and finish getting ready but thank y'all for watching the vlog thus far and i hope you enjoy today let's go Straight. He okay. always leans back, so okay. everybody just so twists he'll... their arm with him. Yeah. You just keep your arm where it's at, and he's not going to break. Is he heavy? <laughs> he's heavy. He's about a pound and a half. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 uh, <laughs> he's getting familiar with it. He's getting familiar with it. <laughs>
Okay, this is not good. So you know how like I was telling you how some how cilantro can taste like soap. Yep. So I like fruit or something that tastes smells so good. It's not right. My nose is just like. Ugh. <laughs> Does it taste good? <laughs> All right, y'all, so it is officially the last day of this trip. I actually have to head to the airport soon, but as you could see, yesterday was another beautiful day, of course. Um, I ended up going to St. John quickly and visiting Truck Bay, also one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, and it was gorgeous. I did not want to leave, y'all. I was so sad because that was the last beach of my trip. It was actually so funny. The lady at the chair rental was like, you look like you're getting settled here. You need to come back. I was like, don't tell me that because I'm going to be stuck. But going back home today, um, after St. John, so I have like a little like tattoo thing with my solo trip. Um, so essentially what I what I do or when I travel in general is every place and territory typically has like a flower and I am obsessed with flowers. So I have like small flowers on this side. So I was going to add the USBI flower. But every tattoo shop that I went to either was too busy or their line artist was out. So I'm just gonna get it when I go back home. Nobody needs to know. It's okay. It'll still represent the trip, um, even though I don't didn't get it here. But that ended up resulting in a super long walk <laughs> that I didn't expect to go on, and my shoulder was dying. But it was beautiful. I was like, it's my last day. Let me enjoy the scenery. I also got to have Texas Pit is a really popular food truck on St. Thomas. The ribs were so good and I got a smoothie um, and some avocados from this place to bring back to my parents because they're supposed to be really 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 good avocados. So after that I came back chilled. I needed to nap because your girl was exhausted and then I had met a few people actually on my second day here in St. Thomas and I went to dinner with them and went to Yacht Haven with them as well which was really cool. I didn't even know that Yacht Haven existed so I'm really glad I got to go with them because it was really really dope. Definitely visit. It's like kind of touristy but it's really nice like outdoor mall kind of area on the island um, and it was really great but that was cool spend time with them have some good conversations and then i came back here rested packed and here we are the next morning this trip was beautiful y'all honestly i really hope that you enjoyed the vlog i think it was super self-reflective for me i think i will say i didn't get as much like prayer time in as i had hoped i think i was just so tired and also the bachelor really stole my attention <laughs> which is not good but um, but I got to pray throughout my days too, which was really great. And I just feel a lot of peace, you know, being here. Two things that God really showed me during this trip. The first is not to hold on to everything so tight and not to feel that I'm, I'm the one responsible for making sure the right things stay and go in my life. Like, things come, um, things go, opportunities come, opportunities go, but holding on to it is what will really keep me on the right path. And I think we know that logically, but it was really um, special for me to kind of have that spoken to my heart. The second thing, just being in the water, like being in the ocean and kind of just trying to be as still as possible and feeling like the water, like through your fingers or like going around your legs and just like, just trying to be super like present. Similarly, to allow God to just to allow God to use me and not to go against like whatever flow he's having in my life. And in a similar way to how the water just kind of leaves and goes around and floats us and brings you in and out and all of those things, that the Spirit of God does a similar thing for God's children. Like you're not the one swimming on your own, but the Lord is also carrying you. And to really just rest in that um, and and just to have more peace and i was also reading that book that i showed y'all earlier and that was just beautiful and putting it to perspective how much relationship god wants to have with me so i'm definitely going back to reality going back to school with a new piece i think um in my life and just not not being so stressed y'all not trying to overthink everything um and yeah i'm really thankful but this trip was gorgeous St. Thomas was beautiful. I would definitely recommend visiting. The people here are amazing. Um, and I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed the solo trip, but 
thank y'all so much for watching this vlog i really hope that you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you really enjoyed this video i'll be making more vlogs i also have video podcasts on this channel and some other lifestyle and beauty videos sprinkled in there for you but i hope that you enjoyed and i will see y'all next week bye